In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear sisters and brothers, now we can sing hallelujah after a long time and we miss you all here and we can at home you can dance you can wave and sing hallelujah our lord is risen indeed and today we join with the whole world to claim the lord is risen also we remember for those dear to us also we pray for those who passed away recently. Let us turn ourselves to God and ask for forgiveness. Many times we miss to follow the Lord. Many times we miss to love one another. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who on this day, through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up 
in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be the second reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. 
Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Christians to the Paschal Victim, offer your thankful praises. Of them the sheep redeems Christ who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contended in that combat stupendous. The Prince of Life who died reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw wayfaring. The tomb of Christ who is living, the glory of Jesus' resurrection. Bright angels attesting the shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ, my hope is arisen. To Galilee he goes before you. Christ indeed from death is risen, our new life obtaining. Have mercy, Victor King, ever reigning. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Amen. 
On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw that the stone and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the, to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and taught them. They have taken the stone, they have taken the Lord away from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial clothes there but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloth there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with a burial cloth, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear sisters and brothers, today you see in the altar, in the church with all candles and flowers, symbols of joy and life flourishing. It marked our history. We can sing hallelujah and gloria after we walked through Lent and accompany Jesus in the Holy Week. And in a very special way, we experience land in the social distance across all nations. We have more time with our friends and relatives in our families. Now, with the whole world, we proclaim Jesus, our Lord, is risen. The whole world means not only Catholic countries, but also atheists, or non-Christian countries. It is joyful to see the whole world could follow and join our Holy Week celebration and Easter celebration online across nations. In Cuba, the first time the communist government allowed the Holy Week is broadcast live on national television. Likewise, in Indonesia, an Islamic country, the first time in history allowed its national TV to do this. In this situation, no matter we are sinful or saintly, believers or non-believers, we have been paid already by Jesus' death out of his love for a lost and dying world. For von Bataza, a German theologian, in the Holy Week, when we participate the events of Jesus' suffering and death, which truly happened, not only in the past, but also remain sodality in human death and our history. In his resurrection, we are transformed by his selfless love and open up to participate in Trinitarian relationship, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Von Bataza sees Easter Day make us alive 
in the spirit and anticipate the salvation in the future. This Easter invites us to see and live our faith revealed to us through the passion of our Lord, that we are God's beloved. So this is sisters and brothers, what do we see in the Easter celebration and what do we live with our Easter celebration? In today's Gospel, Peter and John race to the tomb after hearing Mary Madeleine's report that the stone was removed. Peter goes into the tombs first and his cover is empty. John, the beloved disciple, follows. It probably took him a minute or a while to reflect on what he saw. He reflected about Jesus' love in his life and he believed right away that Jesus is not dead, he is alive. This is the example, the same experience that Mary Madeleine had in another part of the Easter story. Weighed down by sadness outside the tomb, she hears Jesus calling her name. His loving voice stay within her as the living presence of him who is not dead but alive and alive to love her as ever. Like John and Mary, we too are God's beloved ones. Jesus' passion and resurrection reveals to us how much we are loved by God. We are loved not because we are nice or doing good things to deserve it. Rather, we are loved because we are God's very reason for loving. This revelation of God's love encourages us not to fear, but to rejoice and proclaim His love that it would mean to us, that would change us in our lives. If you have watched The Passion of Christ by Mel Gibson, you might recognize Pedro Sarubi, the actor who played Barabbas. He recounts that something strange happened to him at the moment, he looked at Jesus in the scene. He describes that it was like he really seeing Jesus looked with love. Serubi had never experienced such a thing in all his year of acting. He had done something serious, spiritual seeking his life, including six months in a monast monastery. He says that now I have reached the final goal of this search in Jesus Christ. Sarubi could feel Jesus' love through the eyes he encountered. He does everything possible so that those eyes continue to be important to him and change his life. His life has not been the same after acting Barabbas in a movie. Likewise, James Caviezel, who played Jesus in that movie, also has changed. So now we are here through the screen, we still connect to one another. We celebrate life. We are life. 
and celebrating Easter together. We celebrate Easter joy in this way, not because we are afraid of the wicked virus, no, but because we try to protect others' others' lives and not to collaborate with evil virus, not to increase deaths or evils. We accept sacrifice to save others. Positively, I could see many doctors and nurses and staffs as hope with their selfless service and selfless sacrifice to save many patients. Another example, Father Giuseppe gave up his ventilator and gave it to a younger patient. Likewise, Susan Hoylertz, 90-year-old, refused being put on a ventilator and telling doctors to save it for younger patients. She said, I already had a good life as to save this machine for other people. This is us and brothers. I believe these peoples as heroes. They are loved by God and by many people. And they start to celebrate love to save others' lives. And personally, let me tell you what happened to me last Holy Monday. I was in my priest duty and received an emergency call from the Westside Hospital. The family kept calling to the church office to request for a priest coming to anoint the patient. His name is John Ken, also J.C., like Jesus Christ. He stayed in the ICU for intensive care. Actually, the hospital didn't encourage priests to come in. However, the family insisted, and here I say, here I am, Lord. Some of you may ask me, are you afraid? Honestly, yes, as a human, I was afraid. Afraid of walking in that area is dangerous. But when I arrived that at the emergency door, I got temperature check, put on my face mask, then a nurse asked me, Father, are you sure where you're going to? I said, yes, I see you, bed 27. Look at me, she said. Father, you know that I see you is a dangerous place. So please, seriously, do quick, don't touch anything there. And then, when he was walking through the cold corridors, pray to the Lord, Lord, I'm doing your job, so you are in charge. I trust in you. And I offer my prayer to the Lord, and I feel confident. And I arrive at John Ken's bed. He opened his eyes, shores of his breath, and I felt his peace, even in his suffering. So all what happened last Monday. I experienced that fear is nothing compared to faith. Faith much more over than fear, and love 
is bigger than fear and disease or virus. So to celebrate Easter, we proclaim that we are God's beloved ones. We are children of God, that we are not only safe and alive in the risen Jesus our Lord, but in Him, God's love is alive with us and for us. After all, we are an Easter people who live in Easter way involve our commitment, our energy, joyfully, and our will willingness to cooperate with God's Spirit. And I could say to you in these days, Happy Easter to you and your family and all your beloved ones. It is not only wishes on our lips, Happy Easter, but happily alive in loving others, emptying ourselves for others. Let us make our Easter revelation, proclaim God's love in Jesus is alive. Our Lord's reason, He is alive. And it has changed you and me and changed our lives. Because truly, our Lord is risen and He is alive in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is us and brothers. We are about to renew our baptism. You are encouraged to say loudly and confident at your home, even though louder your neighbors can hear with confidence that I do. Dear sisters and brothers, through the Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promised to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. So I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. I do. And all his works? I do. I do. And all his empty show? I do. I do. Do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no master, mastery over you? I do. Do you, renounce, do you renounce Satan, the author of and prince of sins? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord? who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again on the death, from the death, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestow on us forgiveness of our sins, and give us by His grace, in Christ Jesus our Lord, for eternal life. Amen.
the Jesus and brothers, with joy and in faith and hope in the good news of Christ's resurrection, let us turn to God as we give voice to our prayers. For the Church of Christ, may the power of the Holy Spirit work through her in proclaiming the good news and the mercy of God in the world. Let us praise to the Lord. Lord hear for Christians throughout the world, persecuted for their faith. May God uphold and strengthen them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear for the poor and vulnerable in the world, may God lift them to live free from suffering and fear. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear for this faith community in St. Gregory Church, may the Holy Spirit grant us grace in our lives and joy in our mission of proclaiming the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our For our beloved dead, may they be united with the saints in heaven, giving glory to God. Let us pray to the Lord. The responsible woman to offer our personal intentions. Also, we pray for all the victims of the coronavirus around the world. Also, let us ask our mother, Mary, to advocate for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Bless us are among women, and bless us in the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Heavenly Father, confident in your mercy, and filled with faith and hope in the promise of Easter joy, we ask that you hear our prayers through your Son, Christ our Lord.
Dear sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, dear mighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at, at your hands, hands for the praise and glory of God's name, name Father good and because of Holy Church. Exultant with Paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your Church, in wondrously reborn and nourished, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you all. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to love you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restore our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exhaust in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. And through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously Christ, make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and gave you thanks. He said a blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for it is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took a chalice and once more giving thanks. He said a blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which put out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim the death of God until you come again. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving person of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascendance into heaven, as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oppression of your Church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with the Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Thomas our bishops, the other bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you, in your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world that all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we did join all the saints and angels to pray to our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but to leave us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Grace and grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sins and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory yours, yours now, now and forever. Let us pause a moment to pray for peace, peace in our hearts, in our family, and for the world.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Jesus Christ, bring it alive to us to receive it. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my, under roof, my roof, but only say the word, word my and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ give us safe fight to life. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favour, so that, renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now you bow your head and receive the blessing. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this Paschal Sacrament one in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every exhaust of sin. Amen. Amen. And may he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten, endure you with the price of immortality. Amen. Amen. Now that the days of the Lord's Passion have drawn, drawn to a close, may you who shall celebrate the gladness of the Paschal Feast come with Christ's help and exulting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks be to God, hallelujah, hallelujah.